Consumers Energy says there were nearly 20% fewer customer outages last year compared to 2021. The company says it's because of significant upgrades that were made to its electric grid. Here to tell us more about the changes that were made is Consumer Spokesperson Josh Pachorek. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for having me on. I mean, this is such great news. Tell us about some of those improvements. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, like you mentioned, Consumers Energy, we saw a nearly 20% reduction in total number of customer outages in 2022 compared to 2021. And this comes after we worked and completed more than 2,000 electric projects last year alone. We understand that our number one job is to keep the lights on for our customers. And we've been making it a mission, a priority over these past few years to really start ramping up efforts to strengthen the power grid, make it more reliable and make it more resilient. So some of the work that we did last year was we uh, inspected over half of our entire of all of our power lines to try to identify problems to find issues before they might cause an outage. Um, we also replaced over 10,000 power poles with sturdier material uh, that can better withstand high winds that we'll see in severe weather events. We also upgraded or rebuilt uh, over 100 of our substations and we also installed new technology to the grid like line sensors and automatic transfer reclosures. These are um, uh, this is smart technology, self-healing technology that helps us to either uh, identify, prevent outages in the first place, or if outages do happen, we're able to respond in a quicker, more efficient way. Yeah, that's really important too, because of course, outages will still happen when you mention storms, but that quicker restoration is really important as well. Absolutely. And we saw uh, in terms of total, we, we measured in, to in terms of total um, customer minutes, um, in terms of the total number of minutes that customers were out last year, we cut that time in half. And so that just shows that the efforts that we're making to respond to outages quicker, because like you said, we're still going to have storms. We're still going to have these weather events that can cause outages. What we need to do and what we're working on is better responding so that our customers are uh, without power for a shorter amount of time after these storms roll through. Yeah. The Michigan Public Service Commission has approved a rate increase for consumers energy customers. So how does that rate increase then relate to the recent improvements? Yeah, that's a great question. So part of what we're what we're doing is we're going to continue to make investments to strengthen the grid to make it more reliable. And this recent case is going to help us to invest more into new technology to help us invest more into upgrading our, our, our grid. Again, our number one job for our customers is to make sure that we can keep the lights on. And so um, that involves uh, a, uh, additional investments for tree trimming efforts, so trimming along lines of power, uh, along our power lines. Trees are the number one cause of outages in Michigan. So if we can, um, if we can make sure that our lines along the power lines are clear, we can expect fewer outages. It means upgrading our substations, upgrading our equipment, and making sure that our, our grid is more resilient in the face of the severe weather. We can't control when those 60, 70 mile, mile an hour windstorms come off of Lake Michigan, but we can control how we um, prevent outages and how we respond to outages when they happen. Yeah, of course. And this is all part of a five-year electric reliability plan. What are some of the other things that we can expect? Well, what I would uh, share is that we're going to be continuing to do um, a lot of the same work that we did in 2022. We have a large service territory, really almost the entire lower peninsula that we serve. And so we're going to continue to trim trees. Uh, last year, we trimmed over, um, we trimmed about 7,000 miles of lines. And we're going to continue to kind of keep it at that point in 2023 and beyond. We're going to continue to inspect our lines. So we have um, we understand that if we can identify problems before they actually cause outages, uh, we'll be able to better serve our customers. We're going to continue up to upgrade our electrical assets, our substations, our poles. And then lastly, we're going to continue to install that new smart technology. Again, if we're able to spend more time um, responding to outages instead of trying to find where the outages are in the first place, we'll be able to uh, more quickly res uh, restore power for our customers after a storm comes through. 
All right, great. Well, we know you certainly have some hardworking crews out there. Josh, thanks so much for that information today. Thanks, Michelle. I appreciate it.